As we all know, that LODs has been controversial term within the BIM environment and still it is, and this situation prevails around the globe. As in British, American and other standards this term still exist. But, what ISO, have done, is. Instead of using these terms, such as Level of Graphics, LOG Level of Details, LOD, with small d Level of Information, LOI Level of Development, LOD with capital D And then, for Level of Developments, instead of using LOD 100 200 300 350 400 and LOD 500 It is replaced with Level of Information Need LOID ISO 19650 introduces the term Level of Information Need or LOIN to define information services LOIN is not a simple replacement for the LOD concept. The LOIN is intended for clients, who define their information needs for project management. Within the level of information need, LOIN concept, various metrics can be used to measure the information to be delivered, in particular, geometry, alphanumeric information and documents, for example, unstructured information such as plans, reports, photographs and so on. Alphanumeric information should be considered at least as important as geometry. And all of these things get done in stages. And to define the stages, the term, data drop can be used. As an example, to accomplish the project, particularly total six stages are defined. So they may denote it as Data Drop 1 for Concept Design Data Drop 2 for Schematic Design Data Drop 3 for Detail Design Data Drop 4 for Detailed Elements Production Data Drop 5 for Fabrication and Assembly Data Drop 6 for As Built Let's look at Data Drop 1 the concept design stage in this stage it will be explained that more or less what should be included such as elements will be generic representation only they will be giving the viewer a basic idea of existence but no idea about exact size shape or orientation the model may consists of masses and or 2d symbols to signify the existence of an element or building Data Drop 1, an example, with graphical detail. Let's look at Data Drop 2. The Schematic Design Stage. In this stage, it will be explained that, more or less what should be included such as, a representation of a partially defined idea, of elements, size, shape, location in the facility etc but with much rough approximation. Alternatively, a general model, where elements are modeled with approximate quantities, size, shape, location and orientation. Also non-geometric, product or item related information can be attached to the model elements. If asked to add the information, a list of information will also be provided in well explained manners to include more or less the asked information may include but not limited to element or asset name element or asset type element or asset purpose data drop to an example with graphical detail data drop to an example with data detail. Let's look at data drop 3, the detailed design stage. In this stage, 
it will be explained that, more or less what should be included, such as, specific geometric size and exact dimensions of the element and orientation, and quantity used around the facility, should be there. Accurate modeling where elements are defined with specific assemblies, precise quantity, size, shape, location and orientation, should be the overall scenario. Whether or not, or how much non-geometric, product or item related information will be included, to the model elements, can be decided between parties. If it's decided to add the information, a list of information will also be provided, in well-explained manners to include. More or less, the asked information may include, but not limited to. Element or asset name, element or asset type, element or asset purpose, element or asset properties, element or asset manufacturer, element or asset method statement, element or asset size, element, asset location, etc. Data drop 3, an example, with graphical detail. Data drop 3, an example, with data detail. Let's look at, data drop 4. The detailed elements production stage. In this stage, it will be explained that, more or less what should be included, such as, how the component will be connected to nearby elements. It includes model detail and element that represent how building elements interface with various systems and other building elements, with graphics, such as 3D and definitions and statements. Whether or not, or how much non-geometric, product or item related information will be included to the model elements, can be decided between parties. If it's asked to add the information, a list of information will also be provided, in well-explained manners to include. More or less the asked information may include, but not limited to. Element or asset name, element or asset type, element or asset purpose, element or asset properties, element or asset manufacturer, element or asset method statement, element or asset location, element or asset placement, element or asset fixation, element or asset supplier, element or asset manufacturer, element or asset size, etc. Data drop for, an example, with graphical detail. Data drop for, an example, with data detail. Let's look at, data drop 5. The fabrication and assembly stage. In this stage, it will be explained that, more or less what should be included, such as, elements to be modeled as specific assemblies level of detail, with complete fabrication, assembly and detailed information. In addition to precise quantity, size, shape, location and orientation. Whether or not, or how much non-geometric, product or item related information will be included to the model elements, can be decided between parties. If it's asked to add the information, a list of information will also be provided, in well-explained manners to include. More or less the asked information may include, but not limited to Element or asset name Element or asset fixation Element or asset manufacturer Element or asset assembly date Element or asset placement Element or asset type Element or asset purpose Element or asset supplier Element or asset properties Element or asset manufacturer Element or asset contact Element or asset method statement Element or asset fabrication date Element or asset size Element or asset location, 
and list may go on. Data Drop 5, an example, with graphical detail. Data Drop 5, an example, with data detail. Let's look at Data Drop 6, the as built stage. In this stage, it will be explained that more or less what should be included such as elements will modeled as constructed assemblies for maintenance and operations. In addition to actual and accurate in size, shape, location, stage of the installation with verified information, quantity and orientation. Non-geometric product or item related information to the model elements can be included for assets management, facility management and building life cycle management. If decided between parties. If it's decided to add the information. A list of information will also be provided, in well explained manners to include. More or less the asked information may include, but not limited to. Element or asset name element or asset supplier, element or asset contact, element or asset placement, element or asset type, element or asset fixation, element or asset purpose, element or asset properties, element or asset manufacturer, element or asset manufacturer, element or asset method statement, element or asset fabrication date, element or asset size, element or asset assembly date, element or asset location, element or asset warranty start, element or asset warranty end, and list may go on. Data drop 6, an example, with graphical detail. Data Drop 6, an example, with data detail.